DSL. In the bottom left, on a map he's not very familiar with, what will he do? He is... Starting Curious. Good job. No problem. Just got to enhance the show as much <laughs> as I can. <laughs> and in the upper right, we have our Terran player from Kespa. On a Kespa map, he is... Ace Team P1. It's snowing, Artosis. Yeah, it is. It's so pretty. It's looking like a white Christmas stasis. Some of those SUVs are like, I've never seen snow before. I'm from California. I'm from Belcher Beach. I'm from Belcher Beach. Belcher Beach Winter Edition actually had snow. We don't have snow in California. By the way, do you care about the difference between Northern California and Southern California? No, and nobody else. Nobody. Outside of California does. I'm really yeah. sorry. Yeah. Sorry about that. I'm going to break it to you guys right now. I've heard that conversation too many times, and I refuse to remember the difference. I just don't care. <laughs> <laughs> the funniest thing in the entire world is pain user talking about stuff like that. Oh, yeah, man. God, that's funny. Northern California, it's like this. And I'm like, ah, let's talk about something else, please. Let's talk about it. <laughs> it's like, do you want me to talk about, talk about the state I'm from? Probably don't. <laughs> no. I miss pain user. Um, so we got a drone scout here. Yeah. And uh, this is cool that we're on one of our newer maps too. Yeah. New yeah. maps mean new strats. Well, I want to see these uh, maps played out a whole lot more. It's it's so great to actually have a whole bunch of new maps in here. You know, we kept enough of the old ones that everyone's still going to be comfortable. Uh, we know the balance of those maps reasonably well right now. And it keeps the, the GSL at least pretty well balanced, whereas some of these newer maps might be a little bit more imbalanced in certain ways, but it's going to give us a lot of information seeing the absolute best players in the world playing on these. Because while, like for instance, the Pro League players are getting extremely good, and some of them are completely world class, of course. Of course. Uh, the GSL Code S is by far the most skilled tournament. Absolutely. So this is like, this, this tournament is a real test for this map. Yeah, no kidding. Well, we basically, because we've had so many seasons, we've had this proper filtering process, so there's no way you are not a god if you are in GSL yeah, Code no, S. Yeah, if, if Code S was a vodka, it'd be a very expensive, expensive, like, quadruple distilled vodka. Yeah, it'd be like one of those stupid expensive vodkas. Yeah. It would really, if you bought it, it would be like an insult to your intelligence because That's it's right. like $2,000, and you're like, really? Yeah, but they ran it through that charcoal filter so many, so many times. times. It's just so, yeah. it's so, so good. smooth. It's, yeah, yeah, so smooth. All right. I, what, what, what is the um, most expensive alcohol you've ever drank? I have no idea, actually. I was at somebody's house and I, I had, a, I had a shot of a, it was like a bottle of whiskey that was like seven hundred dollars. Wow. And it what didn't even taste that. Amazing. You know what I mean? It was like it was good, no. but I was like, "Well, you could have bought three PlayStation threes with this." <laughs> Are you an idiot? <laughs> yeah, that's fine. That's what I would have done. Our toast. I would have bought. I would have bought three PlayStation threes. Yeah, I guess like that's a genius, smart. man. <laughs> that's pretty smart. And hook them all up to my one TV. Mm -hmm. I got this one set to HDMI. I got this one set to the cable. Thing. I could see you like setting one up in your bathroom, one up in your bedroom, one up in your living room. When I was and up. then like the thing is you're playing, and then you have to go to the bathroom. Look, so you who turn off your my save game? You, you turn off your system and take out the the CD to bring it to the bathroom. Like Tasis, you have three PlayStation threes, but only one of every game. This is stupid, <laughs> dude. Um. When I was uh, in college, I had like something insane, like five consoles, like hooked up to my TV. It's and it was, like, all, I was like all plugged into one surge protector. Like I, it, I was about to burn down my house. Oh, I actually. By the way, there no, going, it was not even in a surge protector. Like, it was yeah. like it was like in a hair dryer plug or one of those things. I literally over a bathtub. That yeah, you over a bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> It tastes like what? It's a water bed. What? Like, listen, you idiot. That's I'm not like, a water bed. <laughs> YOLO, dude. I'm like, yeah, it's a bed with water in it. Yeah. Um, actually, funny. Well, it's not funny, but a factual side story to that tasteless. The other day, my uh, monitor wouldn't turn on, and I freaked out. And it turned out I just overloaded the plug so that it was plugged into. I had to plug in a different outlet. Oh, really? Yeah. I was freaking out, man. It was my nice bed. Q1. All right, so. Oh, it got away. 
Uh, we do have Banshee with uh, Reactor Italian. Pretty standard play overall from the baby. And he is getting that third command center, which you would expect to see behind this. So we're going to see some pretty heavy harassment overall, but he's not getting cloaked. Oh, he is getting close. He just started it. I was going to say, he has a lot of gas going on close. And look at this. I love this, the three marines. That is so, so good. That pushes those queens back so much easier. And with that bunker being made, uh, there's there's a chance well, that you might be able to get well, it. We, we kind of brought this up earlier. So the queens have a hard time getting to the third base here. Yeah. Uh, because it's so far away. So uh, Baby's going to go ahead and abuse that. Yeah. Well, we do have speed finishing up and a lot of lings on the way. So... I'm not completely certain that he's going to be able to kill this hatch, but he's going to make it very difficult, very uncomfortable for Curious to save it. Got to be careful of those links. Doesn't want to lose those until it's time to attack. All right, now you need to send those links in there with that. Curious. And, well, it looks like he should be able to clean this up. Probably wants to target that SCD. There you go. Yeah. Takes that down. And he cleans it up. Not Huge losses for Curious, but he didn't want to have to make those lings. He did lose a queen. Yeah. Uh, you know, it, it stifled his creep. It slowed him down. And that way, those Marines weren't cared about because Baby is going mech. Which, I mean, if you've, you've watched uh, much Pro League, then you know that this is a map where Terrans go mech a lot. This is a, whether it's TBZ or TBT, mech shows up here quite often. Here come the two Banshees now. And they can, of course, just one-shot drones like this. Uh, and so far, i got to say, uh, Baby's doing a good job of this harassment. It's too bad he didn't get that hatchery, but, you know, uh, look how many drones have to get here. He hasn't even used Cloak, and there you go. The cloak see, goes down. That, we've seen so many players cloak right when they get inside the base. This is yeah. so much better. Boom. Yeah, he's doing way more damage. Surprises him. The Overseer's a lot later. Spore comes up, so he's going to have to get out of here. But How many workers have we killed, Artosis? Uh, Eleven. It's pretty well done. All right, 11 workers killed. Yep. We've got two more factories about to finish. And the third base is going up for Baby. And once Baby gets enough mech out, it'll be pretty easy to, to hold that third base. But frankly, uh, Curious has taken in so much damage. I don't know how offensive Curious is going to attempt to be. Yeah, he's, he's making two mutas now. I feel uh, now a few more. Hmm. I'm wondering if he's just making these. I think he's making them for defense. Because if you make mutas against mechs, sometimes it can work, but I feel like this isn't that situation where mutas are going to be useful. You know, he's, he's going to easily get out Thor's. I guess the third base actually doesn't have any turrets yet, so. Uh, does he have a Thor? Actually, he hasn't made a Thor yet, so. Yeah, these are going to do reasonably well. It's kind of surprising. I mean, he's got two Vikings up. Vikings are not exactly a counter to Mutas. Yeah, I mean, he can slow them down and the damage they're doing, but uh, definitely doesn't want to lose those. Those are going to be useful later on. So yeah, these actually, these Mutas did turn out to be very effective. It's kind of funny because they really shouldn't have. <laughs> yeah, you know. Well, yeah, I, I wasn't thinking that they were going to do too much. I thought they'd fly around and kill two, three SCVs and... You know, just and play, leave again. play clean up all out on the map, basically. Yeah, we'll basically trigger turrets to be made. Yeah. All right, so the game now is going to slow down a little bit because uh, Baby doesn't have any type of army for really attacking. He's going for Thors, he's going for Hellions, kind of the Karn build in a certain regard. Uh, but he's he can only really harass right now. There's... This is not something you want to move out with, because if your opponent has roaches, he'll just he'll slaughter you. So this gives Curious time to actually go ahead, get some additional bases, continue to push his creep, get more upgrades, and tech a little bit more. We probably won't see the Terran push until probably about um, maybe 150 supply or more. So yeah, I, I, out. I would say 180-ish. We'll see what push is. Are. Yeah. All right. Well, I'd be a little bit surprised if we did it before then. And the barracks is just being used as scout here because obviously Terran is not going to be making infantry in this game if yeah. you're going Mac. So might as well use that to scout. That way you can land extra mules instead of having to scan mm -hmm. uh, whenever you go out. Creep spread, by the way. Curious has slowed down a considerable amount. Yeah. He's got to keep up on that. But as you see on the production tab, uh, both players are kind of just doing everything at once. And that's what happens when it's mech against Zerg. There's a certain point in the game where it's everything like a, slows down. No one can attack anyone. Like a tacit agreement. Yeah. To not engage each other. Yeah, because uh, at this point in the game, attacking each other is kind of dumb. Like, you'll just, your yeah. stuff will all die because the defender's advantage is going to be too big. So, uh, this is just, this is where people get strong to fight later. 
Well, he could get a lot of these SCDs if he goes for it. Yeah. Looks like he hesitated a little bit. And the Vikings probably going to try to intercept here with this Thor over here. He actually sort of boxed himself in. Yeah, this is some amazing zoning by Baby. I really yeah. love the way that he's uh, playing his Vikings on the edge and, like, kiting near a Thor so the Mutas can't commit against the Vikings. I really like Baby's it. Baby's got, like, a beautiful setup here. Yeah, if man. you really look at like what's going on with Dude, the base of the planetaries, they're gonna be right yeah. there. This game, baby got his groove back. <laughs> and now we have um, command center under fire. Uh, it's gonna probably be forced to cancel. No, actually, probably not. Well, oh, he's well kinda, yeah. uh, he could have suicided on it, but I guess yeah. he wants to keep these viewers alive. Whoa! All right, so Hive is on the way. A lot more command centers being made by Baby. And, you know, that's something that I really love that we've seen a lot out of uh, Kespaterans, which yeah. is uh, more command centers for planetaries for zoning out areas, because you don't have spider mines in StarCraft 2, so the planetaries are going to kind of fulfill that role of yeah. supplyless well, defense. The beauty of it, oh, nice force to cancel there. <laughs> Some bungles thrown down here, but he's going to have to get out. The beauty of the planetaries is that, I mean, they're not even units, they're buildings. So exactly. You can endless of them. Yeah, it, oh, you can do a lot of damage up here to these SCDs. Yeah, that's, that is really, really well done. But uh, yeah, it's the supplyless defense is what is very important about mech, because mech gets really powerful when you have it basically maxed out. But, but the, the, the in smaller the, numbers, it sucks. Yeah, of course. Well, I mean, you, you, the amount of damage that a maxed out mech army will deal within the first second is insane. Yeah, it's in the right composition, it's the most cost effective. And you know, it has the most yeah. range because yeah. the siege takes, so it means it gets the first hit. The only problem is that mech is not necessarily a very limber army. Yeah. So you can be dropped or counterattacked, which is why you make all these planetary fortresses. Exactly. And look at this a great usage of the Banshee. Forcing everything back a bit. And uh oh, some great Punker Gross coming down. Some Infested Terrans as well. Um, nice point defense thrown there. This Viking still able to do a lot of damage. Unsieging Baby's going to keep trying to get closer and closer here. Uh, Baby actually going for the heart right now of Tyrius' base. And, you know, he is pushing for it. These roaches coming in. Really nice roach move here by Tyrius. He's fly falling very quickly, though, because of the huge damage output of the Mech Army. Dude is still doing damage back at the whole, uh, the third base there. Wow. He's really oh, found so many uses for those mutas this game. Well, he really has. Those have been fantastic. And look at that, a lot of drones just went down, but 26 roaches going into production. Baby at this point is too far out on the map with his army. He needs to actually turn around. Curious with his new set of 26 roaches can slaughter that army off if he engages it correctly. And if he slaughters that piece of the army off that Baby has down here, that is an expensive piece. He's got quite a few siege tanks, two Thors. I mean, that is not something that you want to lose right now. Now we got um. The Roach is moving out here. I, I don't know, man. I, I think Baby's playing really well, but honestly, I don't know if he's going to win this. It's hard to Furious say. You seems know what? like he's, he's going to hang on. I think Baby is going to take counter. it eventually. Think so? Yeah. I mean, Baby's got that fourth base. If he loses it here, that, that definitely could change things, but should be able to repair it. Well, that's I hope he's not going to look at time. Is he going to get it? Yeah, oh, that's... Baby's just not looking. That's that's too bad because he could, that could have looked very different. Ah, uh, he was focusing on killing off his brood lords. No. Oh, it looks like he will kill them off, but he's he's lost most of his army here. But he will kill off another actually. Yeah, he just killed two bases while he lost one. Not bad at all. How are the, how's the minerals uh, looking over at uh, Baby's base? How close is he to mining out? His natural is going to be gone pretty soon. His third is very healthy though, so he's, he's still got quite a bit of economy left in him. All right. Uh, well, he's cleaned up most of the mech that was uh, outside of his base. You see there's a small little army up here. Supplies 176 to 141. And most of that supply of Port Curious is actually Roaches. He's got 53 of them with seven investors. So uh, his army, I mean, it's, it's powerful, but if Baby sits back, sieges up a bit, re-secures this base that he's taking right now that we just saw, that's going to be the perfect counter uh, to yeah. a huge Roach army, just to re-max and have something that's going to be ridiculously cost efficient against that while securing enough bases that you know that you're in I don't good know shape. about this one though man this is yeah. too many roaches and he's, he's which, oh well, there's more heat shakes up there but you know that's, that's 
I did not realize those deep stakes were up there. I was that like, is some StarCraft 1 placement right there. Yeah, you, no you kidding. You think you can kill it, and you walk <laughs> up, and all your stuff dies. That's, that was like the story of my life is Protoss and StarCraft yeah. 1. I'm like, oh, he doesn't have that much. And there's like three screens of siege tanks. <laughs> StarCraft 1 parents, spread out. man, were the greatest things ever. <laughs> now we have uh, tanks uh, taking some hits right now. Now remember, every time he loses a tank, it's a pretty big deal. Yeah. It's not as much of a big deal if the Zerg loses a roach. It's, you, it's not hard yeah. to, they're expensive to make roaches. Very well said. He's, uh, all these little snipes he's doing are very worthwhile, basically. Uh, because the more you reduce the tanks, it, he has a limited number of factories and tech labs. The tanks are very expensive. They take a lot longer to build. And when he's refilling tanks, that gives Karius a lot of extra time where he's not going to get attacked and where there's going to be tanks out so that he can switch into something else better against tanks. For instance, in this case, he's making more Broodlords. Well, um, I do like what he's got going on here with the Infestors. Looks like he might want to actually throw a bunch of Infested Terrans yeah. over there at the third base. It's a great idea. And it's if he actually does that. Yeah, he's going to kill off those yeah. guys so easily. He's like, la, la, Great la, 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 la. Move. Fantastic move right there. He might even get that uh, command center from targets. And this is going to cause, uh, ah, not too bad. He didn't target, though. But yeah, no uh, uh, So uh, he can run these roaches behind the planetary, um, or behind the middle patches for the planetary. He's not mining from there. All right, he's pushing forward. Does he have enough corruptors? Right now we have, uh, what, only two corruptors. Yeah. Not a lot. He's going to be focusing on those queens mostly. All right, now let's see if he's paying attention this time. He is. Yeah. Can he actually go ahead and kill that off? Oh, no, the mules are all dying, so it looks like he should be able to kill this. He's going to lose quite a few roaches. I mean, maybe he's pushing into the heart right now of Furious Base. Yeah. This is a super powerful push right now. This game can go either way still. You know, Baby is not mining right now, and Kiri is barely mining. Can he actually like, break through here, though? I feel like Kiri should actually counter. I mean, not, no, 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 I mean, not counter. Go back and uh, try to get this. Uh, Look at these transfuses on this these is queens. Insane. Oh my god. The Brood Lords are continuing to push forward here. Uh, and if he just gets rid of a few more of these tanks. Uh, there's two Brood Lords uh. left. Some of his transfuses are a little bit too slow, your tasteless. It looks uh, like Baby's gonna do it. I think you're right. Yeah, that is that is almost it. What is he? He's got a few more roaches on the way, and he's bringing his roaches back down. So yeah. I don't know, actually. You I mean, know? I guess I guess he can kill those tanks off. Yeah. He does have that one mining base up there. Yeah, I don't I don't know if the uh, if Baby's gonna actually kill the mining base. Mm. This is by the way. These games are just so great. Yeah, they really are. Now, that's a lot of Vikings on the ground. They're not exactly the best ground units, but... And they're 0-0 zero, zero right oh, now. Oh, no, he's fine, because he can actually bring down these defensive uh, terrorists yes. and throw um, all these... Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, actually, Baby just targeted down every Infestor there. That was really well done. Curious will clean this up. Now, what does Baby have left at home? He has six well, tanks, he has five Vikings left over, and eight uh, Hellions. And this is against 14 Roaches and one Infestor, so Baby's actually still okay. These are insane games today, Faceless. They, it looks like it might go one way, and then it's just uh, great holds. I cannot believe how close uh, this match is. I'm loving these things. So close, TDZs. All right, wow. he needs to run away from that. Yeah, this is one of these games where every pursue. single uh, unit counts. We've got, what, yeah. seven Roaches, three Corruptors, one Infestor, but 51 drones to the 38 uh, SCVs of Baby. Now, don't forget, Yes, Baby has mules, but Baby um, also lost a lot of command centers. Yeah. And these other, most of his other command centers are actually planetary. He's got one, two, three, four, five orbitals. God. No, no, no. Oh, oh, he, he actually has four, five I orbitals. I think that one that you looked at was a planetary. Okay. One, two, two three, three, four, four five. Oh, five. Oh, excuse five me. I stand five corrected. in a planetary. So, I mean, he's... I actually thought that he would lost way more... Uh, I think he, he lost the, quite a few, but they were all planetaries he lost. Oh, this is such a good waste of fuel. Yeah, that's... Who wins the energy battle there, Jesus? No kidding. Well, you know, the problem right now for Baby is Baby does have enough uh, healthy expansions. Yeah. Uh, and that gold... Is, is Zerg even aware of the gold base that's been taken? Oh, uh, let me check. No, he isn't, actually. I guess that's not a place you would check out most often. That's like a kind of dead area that's not very useful yeah. in the center. And it's like so easy to attack that no one will take it. But yeah, it's, uh, that's kind of cool now. 
Uh, these infestors can change absolutely everything. Infested Terran bombs on those tanks are obviously super powerful. Oh, he might actually just bump into this base. High zone down his Infested Terrans. There's quite a few Infested Terrans going down. All right, he's getting uh, uh it's not going to burn down. He should be able to save that. Yeah. You know, I gotta say, Baby's playing so well. I do Ooh. see my people's... Oh, man. Uh, all right, let me set, check something on your PC here, Toast. It's 24 drones to 40 SEDs. Now, these infestors are... I mean, they are just going really deep behind enemy lines here. I wonder... What, ah, he's going for the main base. He wants to kill the production facilities. And killing factories in a low econ game like this is amazingly good. Oh, yeah, it's super smart. That's what he's going for. That could now, be uh, pretty he's awesome. He gets pushed here in the bottom center. We'll find out what exactly he has here to defend. Yep. Right now we only see 12 roaches out. And he's going for those factories, Tasteless. In the meantime, it looks like Curious may lose another base, and he lost all his drones at the other base. All right, now this is some really nice play here. He's going to take out all those factories, as Joseph said. It's time for Terrence now, to just start getting building armor against investors. <laughs> When will they learn? And look at that, he's taking down quite a few factories here. I think there's only going to be like two factories left at the end, maybe. GG! Curious just did not have the uh, resources, um, whether that be an army or an income yeah. or anything. Well, to, yeah, to, uh, that to was a crazy game, though. They, some very good holds by Curious, but Baby played really, really well. All right, we're going to the rubber match. He played like a toddler, at least. At least. He was a well-behaved baby. Yeah. How does, that, how does this baby. baby compare to your baby? Oh, my baby's way better. I know, I like your baby you way better, me? too. She's so much cuter. You should probably, uh, your baby is so cute, actually. I know. Which means that I will probably have the ugly baby. You will. I believe what it's, that means. It's actually really sad. It's uh, I know. I was positive you are going to have an ugly baby, too. Your baby's what? really cute, man. Of course my baby's cute. Of course your Look baby's at cute. me. Uh, yeah, I know. My yeah. baby looks like me. You're always telling me I'm cute when we're not on air, Tasteless. <laughs> Tasteless is such a tease. I know. The map um, selected is Daybreak. Mm -hmm. Not a shocker there. Curious always picks this map, if I remember right. Do you think uh, Baby will go mech here? Because this is definitely a map that you can mech on against Sir. Baby just showed uh, us that his mech's very strong. I would mech. I think Mech's a good choice here for Baby. He, he really knew how to do it. He knew how to uh, when to push out, when well, to... I, I love the, the slight alterations in the style of a, a Kespateran Mech, you know? Yeah. It's, uh, I really liked his play last game. Let's see Tase as the game is is a fan of Baby. Try not to be so biased in your cast, Artosis, <laughs> and ruins the game. All right, guys, let's get ready for the final game here between Curious and Baby for the GSL.